Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the append list method. And what the append list method does, it takes a single object and appends it onto the backside of a list. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to do numbers. It's going to represent a list of numbers. I'm really tired, so if I sound funny or say something stupid, or even type something weird like that, you understand. So numbers dot append. So we're going to append a new number on the back side of that, and it's going to be six. All right. Hit return, and we'll do numbers, and we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's how we append something. Now, how about if we want to append a list onto a list? How does that work? So we'll do. Uh, we'll have an animals list here. Um, we're going to do cat dog and turtle like that and there's our list of animals now we're going to have an additional additional list of animals so we'll say additional animals and this is going to contain a list of uh, rabbit and horse there we go all right, cool. So now we got cat, dog, turtle, and rabbit and horse. All right, so if I do animals dot append and I append additional animals, I'm gonna get a list containing a list of animals. That's probably not what you wanted to do when you were trying to append that onto there. So how in the world would we do this? Very simple. We're going to say for x in, uh, that we call it additional animals. Whoa, additional animals. Like that. Like I said, I'm exhausted right now. We're going to go ahead and do animals dot append. And we're going to pass x in here. And we're going to hit return. Return. And we're going to call our animals now. And notice that, well, I should probably took that out first, but just pretend that doesn't exist there. We got cat, dog, turtle, rabbit, and horse. So what we did was we ran a for loop and we stepped through each animal in this list and appended it one at a time. Like I said, append takes a single object and appends it to the end of a list. Now a list right here, this list when we pass it is a single object. So that's why it was appended as a single object. But most of the time, you're probably going to want to pass in each object to make your full list of animals. So there you go. There's my bonus tutorial of the day. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about the extend list method. See you then.